YouTube. My name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. All right, folks, it looks like it's happening. It looks like Bungie is beginning to tease what's called the War Against the Darkness. Yeah, that means Destiny 3 and possibly Year 3 of Destiny 2. Bungie put out a video today called Bungie Developer Insights Season of the Drifter. I will play that in its entirety at the end. But I want to go through and give you the meat and potatoes first and give you some speculation but also get some speculation from you guys in the comment section because they are just dropping hints left and right about the future of what we will face. If you enjoy this video, a like rating is very much appreciated and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Let's get into it, folks. The Drifter is one of the oldest light bearers that we know within the Destiny universe. Now, the Drifter, as we can tell, he sometimes seems like a bad guy and sometimes he seems like a good guy, but he comes from what's called the Dark Ages. They mentioned that he had to do whatever he had to do to survive and that he has ran with some pretty bad folks or some pretty bad crews, but somehow has always pushed them back. They mentioned that he's like kind of your bad uncle that teaches you how to fight dirty. And they mentioned, well, he teaches you how to drift. Now you could tell, or at least I'm reading into it, of course, that when they say he's teaching you how to drift, well, I'm getting at, well, or at least I'm reading into it, drifting between being good or being bad. The developers actually say he wants to teach you how to drift if you will let him in order to survive. Now, reading into that, that lines up with, well, we will have dark and light guardians in Destiny 3. Or who knows what's going to happen in Year 3 of Destiny 2. I'm speculating that Destiny 2 in Year 3 is going to be one big build-up for Destiny 3. Uh, more than likely, we're not going to get an expansion in September. I'm speculating here, of course. We'll get another annual pass, but that whole year of content is probably going to build up to the war against the darkness. The Drifter's real name is Dredgen Hope, and he's got a pretty deep connection to the Nine, namely the Emissary of the Nine. The Emissary of the Nine, she used to be a guardian until she went off looking for the mysteries of the universe, and she ran into the Nine. Now, in the developer of IDOC, they say that, well, she has changed, but they don't really say how. They do say, though, that the Nine are very interested in two things. One, the survival in the solar system, but also what the Drifter is doing to prepare Guardians to, quote-unquote, prepare for the war with the darkness. They say the Drifter is using Gambit and Gambit Prime to prepare us for the war against the darkness. Now, if we read into that, well, Gambit is PvEVP, right? It's got a little bit of PvE and it's got some PvP. So when you invade, you always hear, this is what the darkness feels like, right? So this is really playing in line with uh, what we're speculating or what is leaking out about Destiny 3 being a PvEVP type game and also including, well, you need to make a choice. Do you want to be a dark guardian or do you want to be a, well, light guardian? Now, we all pretty much know that the pyramid ships we see at the ending cutscene of Destiny 2 as well as from the concept art, well, that's supposed to be the darkness and the darkness is coming at some point. When? We don't know. I'm speculating we're going to see a buildup of them throughout this next year leading up to Destiny 3, and Destiny 3 is going to be all about the war against the darkness. They specifically say in the Vidog, why does the Drifter keep encouraging us Guardians to dabble in the darkness? They say in the video, yeah, those motes of dark that you're collecting, they are fragments of the darkness. So we are dabbling in the darkness right now, whether we know it or not. The hull or ship part of the Drifter ship was given to the Drifter by the Nine. They say that the Drifter is always expecting something to happen, and he's using this ship to, well, hunker down in case something happens. Well, one of the developers then follows that up with, maybe he's right this time. And my speculation is, yeah, that's the darkness that he's waiting for, and I think we're going to start seeing them before Destiny 3. It would not surprise me if we see what's called the Veiled. That's supposedly the name, or maybe even code name, that all the leakers are using for the darkness. And we don't even know what these things look like, or at least I don't know what they look like. But when we have this war against the darkness, supposedly they're called the Veiled. The end the Vidoc with 
with saying, well, what does it mean to be a guardian? You need to make this choice. Is it a gift? Uh, how will you decide your future? Things like that. So they leave it open and they say, we're looking forward to seeing what everyone's speculation is. So this is a really, really interesting Vidoc, and I'm going to play it out in its entirety right now. If you made it to the end, leave me a good old hashtag, made it to the end, and I'll see you guys on the next video. The Drifter is front and center of this release, and I love that. Personally, the Drifter is my spirit animal. He is, he is the best. There's some super deep lore there with Drifter and the Nine, why he's doing what he's doing. Okay. We've got some really cool things that happen over the course of Season of the Drifter, and we definitely wanted to pay off those things. The Drifter is one of the oldest light bearers that we know about in the Destiny universe. He comes from a period called the Dark Age. It was a tough time. He had to do what he had to to survive. You've been straying. You don't even use his name no more. Well, that's why I'm still breathing, brother. Drifter used to run with some bad folks. He's a guy that has been part of many different crews over time, but always, for some reason, pushed them away. Sorry, old friend. Drifter is kind of your shady uncle who teaches you how to fight dirty. Behind you. He wants to teach you how to drift, if you'll let him so that you can survive too. Don't together. you think John Toe is secretly the drifter? John I mean, Toe is secretly. I, I guess really what I mean is John Toe's my spirit animal. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that. <laughs> Dredging. No, not anymore. It's Drifter now. He's not what he appears to be. He is Dredging Hope. He's always encouraging Guardians to ride the line between light and dark. And when the time comes, we'll finally be in the clear. Drifter's connection to the Nine actually runs pretty deep, and the common link there is actually a character called the Emissary. The Emissary of the Nine used to be a Guardian long ago. Went off in search of the mysteries of the universe, somehow ran into the Nine, and that character now is different, has been changed. The Nine are interested in the survival of the solar system, and they believe that the role that Drifter is playing right now with Guardians in running Gambit and Gambit Prime is essential to the coming war against the darkness. Why do they allow the Drifter to continue to encourage Guardians to dabble in the darkness? Motes of dark in Gambit are fragments of darkness. Accept this gift from the Nine. The Hall represents a battery of infinite potential. The Nine gave it to Drifter to see what he would do with it. He wants to find a way to hunker down and stay safe for whatever he thinks is coming. But he always thinks something's coming. This time he might be right. We're definitely trying to move toward more of an ongoing living world, one where the story evolves with players as they live inside the world. And because it's the Emissary and because it's the Nine, it will be very cryptic. We're asking, what does it mean to be a Guardian? Is the light a gift? Who are you? And what do you stand for? We're really excited for people to dig into that and speculate. Gift. What gift?